uh, before the show, people will look at you and go, oh, look at this beautiful actress. You know, I kind of recognize her from other shows. She must have this incredible life. And you do have an incredible life, but not maybe the way they think of it. And prior to this Game of Silence mm-hmm. show, you had decided to be an Uber driver. Yeah. Tell me about that. It's not something that I was like, it wasn't like a goal of mine. <laughs> 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 I just, I, <clears throat> I thankfully have been able to swor- support myself as an actor for a really long time. The, like about a year ago, I said, you know, it, it, it is competitive. It's only getting more competitive. And I, I don't know. I just also, like, this is great. And these are great experiences. But I want to be a part of projects that I really want to do. Like, I want to read it and say, oh, there's something about this that I really like and I'd like to be a part of. I said, so no more guest stars, which also means... No more money. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and then I was going into pilot season, and um, I said, well, I don't know what's going to happen. I'm either going to have to like go on an un- unemployment, which I never have had to do, which is also scary and mm-hmm. weird. I know a ton of actors that do it, though. Sure. Um, but I can Uber drive, hmm. right? So I went and like registered my car. It's the easiest thing in the world, which is also a little scary, which now made me go like, I can't believe all these different cars I get into. And anyways, <laughs> um, and then I did it for two days because then I got the show and I was like, I don't really want to overdrive. Let's just, let's take this as the risk and see if this gets picked up and then we'll just hopefully sort it out and the money will come. But, but it was so interesting. Yeah, so tell me about it. I wouldn't not do it again, by the yeah. way. Like it's great research for an actor think about being a cab driver sure. as an actor and all the people you can meet and like their weirdness or the conversations think of all the conversations you have in an uber car of course i've met amazing people i'm going to separate these two because i'm not trying to equate women with not knowing how to drive but what i'm saying is how often you get into an uber where there's a beautiful woman and how often you get in an uber where the person actually knows where the fuck they're going in los angeles because you know both. you're both <laughs> <laughs> it's so rare that you actually get into an uber and that's that's the case it's really fun that was so the first couple i picked up They were the cutest couple and they were like going to a bar in Culver City and they're meeting their friends and we just start talking and they're like, what do you do? I'm like, I'm an actress. And I'm like, I'm sure they've heard this other times. We start talking and they're like, oh my gosh, like you work? And I'm like, yeah. They're like, well, why are you doing this? And I was like, I don't know. I just need the money. Like I'm going to be broke soon. (laughs) So got to figure something out. And uh, yeah, but it was really fun because they're like, oh, we're meeting our friends here. And I'm like, no, 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 no. You want to go to this bar uh. and then or this <laughs> and then drive it off. And then I felt like really proud of myself. I was like, trust me, you're going to have the best night now. <laughs> and they were like, thank you so much. Did, did you have any unpleasant? And I had some weird ones. Yeah, did you have, yeah, you had unpleasant experiences? I picked up some guy um, in Santa Monica in the alleyway, but like a nice alleyway. Mm-hmm. Doesn't, doesn't but sound Santa Monica right. only has nice alleyways, by the <laughs> way. They only have nice alleyways. Um and he got in the car to go to the airport, but he wanted to sit in the front seat. Oh, and that, it's he's funny. one of those, yeah. He's totally one of those. So, But I put my water bottles in the front seat on purpose because I was nervous that someone would want to do that. So I was like, sorry, the water is here. It's got to go in the back. And um, he went in the back, and we had like a short conversation. I forget where he was from, but he was going to Hawaii. Or no, sorry, Vegas. Okay. Vegas. Uh-huh. But I think he was from – anyways. So – he had his phone out, and then I start hearing these really weird noises. It's like, uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love this. I love where we're going with this. And I'm like, yeah, exactly. And I was like, rear view mirror, like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> and, then, um, and then it's like kind of quiet for a while, and then it's like a couple of those. And so I don't, I don't know if he got like a little sexy video from his girlfriend or if he was just straight up comfortable like just watching straight. some porn in my car I, I i'm not ha- sure which it was but i went with it and then i just was like i don't know whether to turn on the music turn off the music so we just like sat in silence all the way to the airport with like once in a while hearing like oh uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh shit what do i do with this that's great yeah and then there was a couple of others that were just in, out, high, mm-hmm. hard, totally normal. Yeah. Turn on my music, you know. I'm totally, it was fine. I'm totally going to do that the next time I get into an Uber. It's just. And then Kara called me too. She's like, well, I'm my girlfriend, yeah. one of my best girlfriends. And she's like, um, Trevor and I are going out tonight. I know you were Uber driving earlier. We're getting an Uber. Do you want us to like call you? Like, do you? <laughs> <laughs> so I did. <laughs> you drove her. You drove him to have it, Kenny. <laughs> <laughs>